Hello and welcome to the E14 Toy Box. I'm Rob and I'm going to give you an update now on something I did on one of the previous toy boxes. So as you may recall, just before Christmas, around, well, between kind of August and December time, it's been on and off. My quest for Constantine continued. I was quite proud of that one. So the premise was very simple. So I'd go through boosters from a Justice League Trinity War Hero Clicks brick looking for John Constantine, a particular figure that I really wanted for my collection. Unfortunately, as you'll have no doubt seen from the videos, and if you haven't, there'll be links around, so there's no excuse this time, I wasn't successful in my attempts to retrieve uh, John Constantine. I got some really cool figures, and some relics, and some chases, and all sorts of stuff, but unfortunately, not Constantine himself. However, today, I got a package in the mail, or the post, wherever you're from. Everybody says it different, for some reason. So I'm going to cut to an angle you can watch it from more coolly, cool, in a more cool way, and I'm going to show you the package and the contents therein, and I think you're going to like it. I know I am. Right then, so I've got my new and experimental two camera setup going. So I've got my webcam on my laptop here, hello, and I've got my live blah, blah, blah unboxy view so I can unbox at my leisure on the proviso that I don't get stuff out of shot so that should be interesting so let's find out what's in my package oh my I've had to take a load of stuff off it because man eBay has a lot of postage labels on it and uh, this in particular is heavy on the old postage so let me get it in shot just here dun 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 so you can see my release my relief as I hit full mast as it were oh look at that that's a why that's a Justice League DC Trinity War Heroclix ID card why would I buy that unless Oh my goodness. So, that can only mean that inside this box, in, <laughs> lovingly wrapped in carrier bags, is the man himself. If this was broken, I would probably do a shit. He's there. He's mine. <sighs> when I think back on how much this has cost me, it beggars belief. But there he is. The man himself. Look at that. Wondrous. Wondrous piece of architecture. It's a bit where the dial falls off. Oh, he's just beautiful, isn't he? And you know what's really nice about him? He's mine. This one belongs to me. I have him. He's mine now. And will always be mine. Because I tell you what. After all the trouble I've been to to bloody get him. There is no way I'm ever going to get rid of this particular one. Unless I've gutted the entire collection. Now. I know what you're thinking. So the question that I'm sure you're no doubt wondering is. When did I buy this? So. For clarity this is early January. So this is the very early January in fact. Looking at the calendar. Which I had to check. And um, I published the last of the um, toy boxes where I was foraying into it in late December. So I knew when I... I didn't know when I recorded that he was going to come in the post. And I was going to buy him separately. It was a bit of a weird one to publish three episodes knowing full well that I had one coming in the post. And so the episodes themselves didn't matter. But obviously when they were first recorded, which was a little while before, I um, I wasn't so sure about whether or not I'd be able to get him. Certainly not whether I'd be able to get him for any reasonable cost. Um, but I've done rather well, I think, actually. Um, I won't go into specifics about how much it costs, but I not only have the man himself, obviously I have the card. It would be a bit rubbish without it. And I have the ID card that allows me to bring him into the battle for a cost of five points. So it's 90, 
90 points of character, 5 points of ID card, 100% relief of Rob. So thank you for watching the E14 Toy Box as we finally close the Constantine chapter. Mercifully, it's over.